Welcome back to day one on my brand new island. <laughs> um, I had a little bit of a break, had some things I wanted to do around the house, and now I thought it was time to get back to finishing up. I'm playing with the volumes here a little bit. It seemed loud. I guess it's okay. Um, wanted to get back and start earning some Nook Miles. Uh, one of the things I've just done was I've created my first post. If you can read this, bring tacos, because seriously, I am always wanting tacos. I am always hungry anyway, so let's collect our Nook Miles for that. There we go. And I think I can also collect some miles for um, updating my passport, so let's do that. Add a short comment. Um, it's going to be very short because I do not like typing with the controller. Hi. <laughs> there we go. And let's get our Nook Miles. Okay. Yeah, um, my husband just got home a little bit ago and uh, logged into his island and saw all of the goodies um, I have cl cl cluttering up his beach. So, hello, Tom Nook. Nook. Oh my gosh, I cannot talk this afternoon. I, I really should have taken that nap. So yeah, he saw the bell bags and uh, hybrid flowers and some other goodies. And I mean, his whole whole long stretch of beach completely covered <laughs> he said he didn't mind though so I, I have till you know whenever I'm ready to come get it so hopefully tomorrow my airport will be open and I can go get all my goodies ah Moxie welcome welcome as you can see it is quite cozy in here it's funny how cozy doesn't always mean comfortable hmm? that's true let me know if you need advice on how to spend your time on this island or anything else. If you need some advice about basic island materials, you should talk to Timmy. He can help you proc procure some of the essentials for thriving in our little paradise. Yes, 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 and he purchases all my goodies. Okay. I'm just turning the game volume down a little bit more. I hope it's not too quiet, but for some reason it's just like aggressively loud in my ears today. Oh, and one more important thing. I'm offering a free DIY workshop. Yes, that's what I'm here for. Let's see what you have. Okay, I'll take a look. Oops, oh, sleeping bag, toolbox. Ooh, could buy a wetsuit and start swimming around the island. Let's see what flowers we have. Oh, Cosmos. Oh, I like Cosmos. And red roses and red mums. Slingshot recipe. We can't buy that yet because we are broke. Let's go get some sticks. And because um, we're going to need that for crafting our fishing pole and a bug net. Okay, thank you, Timmy. So let's also. Oh, gosh, I'm so tongue tied this afternoon. Let's look in the recycle bin, see if there's any anything in there of use. Yes, thank you, thank you, thank you. Cardboard box we don't need right yet. I will get that when I have some house storage. And let's unlock the ABD machine. Yep, yep, yep. Next stop, it's a terminal for services that will further enhance your island life. I can use two services, the Nook Shopping and the ABD for the Bank of Nook. Yes, yes. 
And I can't afford to buy anything. But at least I got some Nook Miles. You know what? Let's see what we have in the store, just out of curiosity. What kind of goodies? Are there any seasonal items? Oh, oh, that's cute. I think, yeah, I bought one of those um, on my old island before destroying it. And I think it is just sitting on my husband's beach waiting for me. That's cute. Okay, let's go get some weeds to sell and some tree branches for crafting. I'll do most of my uh, weed picking off camera. I, I know that could be a little tedious to watch, and yet it's one of my favorite things to do. I love just, it's just relaxing with the pretty music, picking the little weeds, making everything look nice. And you know what? We have so many cherries. I am going to pick some to sell. Just so we can get some bells going. Hi, Tommy. We'll go chat with our villagers, Goose and Renee. See how they're settling in. Hopefully they like their beachfront property. Oh god, I, I gotta stop with the weeds. It's just so hard to pass them up. Oh, there's Renee. Hi, Renee. Yo, Moxie. I'm getting a real good vibe from that tent plot you picked for me. Thanks for the hand. We've got to look out for each other here. If you ever need anything, don't be shy. Thanks, Renee. Oh, yeah. I was thinking about how to thank you, and I came up with a recipe for a leaf umbrella. Cute. That is a cute umbrella. So the first thing I thought when I got here was, now that's a lot of weeds. That's kind of where I got the idea. It's a DIY project that uses weeds. I can think of some other uses for weed, but okay. If you've never done a DIY project before, you should ask Tom Nook. Yeah, I'm going to do that as soon as I have enough sticks. Thanks, Renee. How many? Oh, good. I have enough for a fishing pole. Oh, there's Goose. Yo, Moxie, that spot you found for me is just incredible. Thanks. I hope we can keep looking out for each other like this. It's good to have buddies. Bouquet. <laughs> oh, right. I've got something here for you, Bouquet. Thanks again for finding a place for my place. Oh, a little hat. Oh, thanks, Goose. I'm going to put that on right now. Cute. Hi, Scarlet. My cat Scarlet's in here. She has uh, fresh water and a full bowl of food, but I'm sure she's going to uh, just kind of complain for complaining's sake. It's what she does. Hi, baby girl. I think that's all. Okay, let's get, let's get five more sticks so we can do a net and a fishing pole. I'm afraid to shake any trees. I don't want to get stung. Although I know I need to get stung so I can get the recipe for medicine. But yeah, just don't want to. How many is that? Nine. One more. Oh, Scarlet. I think my cat also has allergies. She's sounding a little bit stuffy right now. Okay, we're just going to shake this tree. Whew. There we go. <laughs> oh, I know Scarlet. She's going to be a little bit whiny and then probably go lie down and take a nap. Okay, Mr. Nook, let's take that workshop. About that workshop. Yes, yes, the DIY workshop. Each participant will make and keep their own tools and receive a set of DIY recipes. 
I think it will be quite useful for island life. I'd love to. Let's get started. When you see how simple it is to DIY or do it yourself, you'll understand what I mean. The basic idea is to gather materials, follow a recipe, and then craft using a workbench, a workbench like this one. So today we'll be constructing a fishing rod using common materials that you can find anywhere, yes? We require a mere five tree branches. It is, admittedly, a little flimsy. Yeah, I think it what catches five fish and then breaks, I'm not sure. Okay, I have the materials. To begin, just select a project from the workbench and get started. Go ahead, give it a try. Craft, craft. Let's do it. Hmm. I made a flimsy fishing rod. Yes, that was perfect. Why, thank you. As you can see, crafting is quite simple, provided you have the correct recipes. And that concludes my free DIY workshop. Oh, there's just one last thing. I have a few common DIY recipes for you. Of course, naturally free of charge. Hi, Scarlet. <laughs> I guess we're just going to be listening to Scarlet meow a bit. She gets crankier as she gets older. She's about nine or so and just is just through with everything. It may not last forever, but it should serve you well for a little while at least. Speaking of fishing, I'm no master angler, but perhaps I can give you a few tips. In my experience, you should aim in front of the shadow of a fish when you cast your line. I would love to see anything you manage to catch. I'm quite curious about the local fauna. Yeah, I have to give him, how many is it now? For uh, Blathers to call. I think I give him five. And then once Blathers is here, I give him 15. It's been like over a year since I last started, so I don't really remember. Oh good, Scarlet is eating. This means she will should stop the meowing and then go take a little nap soon. <laughs> I should set up a little kitty cam. Let's craft. I've got that. Let's go ahead and make a net. Can I make a little leaf umbrella? Oh, what do I need for the workbench? Oh, I'm not going to be able to make that for a little bit. Let's make a little leaf umbrella. Just to do it. I should make one of everything. I meant to do that on my last playthrough, and I just never did. What do we need for the fire? Oh, cool. Just some tree branches. Let's sell... Sell our umbrella and any weeds we might still have. Oh, and the cherries. Sounds great. Thank you, please come again. When you eat food like fruit, you'll find yourself energized with more power than you might have imagined. Has anyone shared that with you? Well, I did learn that, yes. What I mean is you could break open rocks or maybe even dig up a whole tree if you had the right tool. Now it's fine for you to sell me your fruit, but you should try eating it once in a while too. Yeah, I usually accidentally eat it and then need to go sit on the toilet so I don't destroy rocks. <laughs> but that is a handy feature. Okay. Down and out eventuality. You got Nook Miles. Okay, let's go catch some bugs and do a little fishing and turn them into Tom Nook. How many Nook Miles do we have so far? Oh, 1750. That's not too bad. 
I'm sure there are a few other things we can do. Yeah, how many fish do I need to catch? 10 fish, so 10 bugs. Craft, well, I'll be crafting those because, you know, I'll be breaking them. Oh, cool. Good, good, good. We're off to a good start. Okay, Scarlet. And let's see what we've got around here. Okay, I won't pick weeds yet. I won't pick weeds yet. <laughs> oh, we can grab a few shells to sell. Let's run up the river. Do a little circle. Here we go. Hi, fishy. Oh. Okay, good. Phew. That would have been embarrassing if I'd missed my very first one. Sometimes I feel like I do better if I look away from the TV or even just close my eyes and just do it by sound. I know that's that's really dorky, but I get my fingers just get itchy and twitchy and they just want to catch that fish before it's ready. Hi, fishy. Oh, he sees it. Oop, second bite again. I caught a Crucian carp. My skills are sharp. <laughs> fishy fishies. Oh, here we go. I think that might be a little smaller than what we've caught. Maybe? Hoping to get different fish. Yep, cute little guppy. Yep, a guppy. Welcome to the team, newbie. Oh, a little bit bigger guy. Oh, I see a little fossil dig spot back there. A yellow perch. Okay, Scarlet is done eating now for anybody interested in my little cat updates. <laughs> Probably not. And now she is rubbing her face on a little scratcher I have on the wall for her. <laughs> and now more yelling. Let's see what we got here. Oh my gosh, she is upset. Does she care that I'm recording? No, because cats do not care. <laughs> and what DIY recipe is it? The cute little, um, whoops, wrong, wrong thingy. Oh, cute. Yeah, I love the little succulent plant. We'll have to get some more weeds and make one. How many fish do we have here? One, one two, three, four. Let's catch one more fish. And go turn it into Tom Nook. See what he has to say. See how many we need before Blathers will show up. Ooh. I almost hit it too soon. Oh, cool. A zebra fish. Uh, a zebra turkey fish. Excuse me. Land, air, water. Make up your mind. And. Get a little shell to turn in. Let's grab some weeds. We'll make that little succulent and put it out. I think that was enough. I actually, I don't remember now how many. Oh, I see a little grasshopper or something like that. I swear, I just sometimes catching these things Oh, hey, I got it. My depth perception at times seems a bit off when I'm doing this. A long locust, or as I call it, a locust. Okay, let's go see Mr. Nook. Thank you. 
what would you like to talk to me about? Uh, I found a creature. Let's have a look, shall we? Let's give you my bluegill. Oh, what a catch. I do believe this is a bluegill. Well, yeah, I just said that. Hmm, if this island can support a bluegill, why, who knows what other fantastic creatures we might find living here. Moxie, I have an idea. An old friend of mine runs a museum, and I'd love to send it to him for a closer look. Would you be okay with that? Okay. Thank you. I promise that I'll take extra good care of your bluegill. Oh, that reminds me. This is in no way tied to your generous donation just now, but I have a useful app to show you. Ah, my Critterpedia. Very good. I sent you the Critterpedia app. It's a terrific resource for an inspiring island researcher such as yourself. With this one app, you'll get all the important details about the bugs, fish, and sea creatures you catch. Yes, yes. <laughs> okay. I have more creatures. Here is my Crucian Carp. I think I'm saying that right. Yes, please. Uh, sure. Yeah, I've taken advantage. I have. Come to think of it, I've seen you tinkering around a bit over there. Keep up the good work. That reminds me, I've been meaning to share more DIY recipes with you. Mind turning on your phone? Oh, good. Let's see what tools and stuff I get now. I just sent you a number of DIY recipes that require wood, along with the recipe to craft an axe. Oh, good. It will come in very useful. Can I give you another picture, please? Here is my guppy. Yes, please send it along as well. So that's the one thing I want to get up and running faster than anything is the museum. And then I'll, I can take my time with the decorating and... Oh, Red Cosmos, thank you. And all the other fun things there are to do. Go ahead and do some planting, and after a few days, you'll have a be you'll have beautiful blooming flowers. Anyway, give it a whirl, and if you enjoy gardening, stop by and buy more. Yes, yes, I have more discoveries for you. Oh, let's get our Nook Miles. Have a nice DIY. You're earning for learning. Less than 3,000 to go. Nice. And we can now make the axe. Oh, log stakes. Tiki torch. Oh, the little birdhouse. Cute. Let's give you a few more things, Mr. Nook. I found a creature. Here is a yellow perch. I have two more to give you after this one. Please do. Remember the flower samples I gave you. I forgot to mention something. The flowers that grow will be very strong. They'll spring up even if you just plant them and forget them. Ah, uh, but if you water them each day, that's where the magic happens. Watering opens up the possibility of propagating and crossbreeding your flowers to develop rare colors. Yeah, I'm not going to be going through that like I did on my first playthrough of my island. <clears throat> I didn't think I was ever going to get a blue rose. My accountant warned me of giving this sort of thing away for free, but you've collected creatures for me, Moxie, so this is just part of island give and take. Oh, thank you, Mr. Nook. <clears throat> yep, here's another fishy for you. I found a creature. Give you 
the zebra turkey fish. Okay. Oh, that would be Blathers calling, I think. Blathers, is that you? Oh ho, what splendid timing. Yes, yes, do you remember the venture we discussed? Well, it's come to fruition. I'm currently stationed on an island that we've decided to call Turtle Time. Yes, yes, the local fauna are as abundant as expected, just as I told you. Mm-hmm. How many precisely, you ask? Well, there's no way of knowing just yet. But I have received, let's see, five outstanding specimens so far. What? Seriously? Well, that is very exciting. Oh, but you'll have to excuse me. I'm with a customer right now. I'm not just a customer, Mr. Nook. I'm like your resident services person. I'm so sorry to keep you waiting. That was my friend Blathers, the one who curates a museum. Believe it or not, he's going to come to our island to help us identify and preserve the local creatures. Ah, but I could use your help, Moxie. Since you've done so much scouting and collecting already, would you be able to help us find a spot for Blathers? We'll need a good-sized space to really build out a world-class museum, so do keep that in mind. This is exciting. It's all coming together. Yes, yes. Okay, well, this is very cool. Let's see. I want to... Oh, no, I can't make the leaf... Yes, I can make the leaf umbrella because... Oh, I already made it. I meant the succulent plant. Yep, let's make that. And uh, go place the museum. I think I'm going to put it sort of on that western part where when you first come in from the airport, build up a really pretty little area there for it. Maybe a little bit back from the pond. Craft a succulent plant? Let's do it. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry for my cat. She is just, she's thinking it's her dinner time when it's really not. And by dinner time, I mean the wet food we give her. She usually has a little kibble to snack on throughout the day. Uh, I'm not gonna really try and catch a whole lot more, although I need the Nook Miles, so I probably will go and catch more bugs <clears throat> and just have them waiting. So let's see, here's that pond. Where's my airport? <laughs> hey, I wasn't too far off. So let's look at the map here. I don't think I want to do it straight ahead. I think we want room for like the shops and stuff. But over here could be kind of pretty. And, and I know, you know, I can always move it. But maybe let's kind of tuck it back here. Let's get the cherries first. I'm not going to go too far back because I want to be able to run behind it for fishing. Let's look at where we are when the map opens up. Maybe a little bit closer to the pond? I don't know. <laughs> this is where I just struggle with the game. It, and I know it's not life-changing decisions. I can always change what I don't like but let's see maybe right about here whoopsie hi Scarlet would this be a good place let me imagine it because I think this then gives me enough room let's just do it for now it'll give me enough room around it, maybe behind it, to do a little decorating. We'll make a cute little, maybe a little cafe in front. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry about the cat. <laughs> she is just not gonna stop. So yeah, I think that'll work. Let's pick a few more weeds to sell. <laughs> Hi, Renee. She is adorable. I love her hooves look like they're painted pretty little blue to match her outfit. That's so cute. Let's put this little succulent down by their tents. 
little decoration. I think this is Renee's here, so let's give her the little the little succulent. Oh, thought I didn't craft it for a second. <laughs> there we go. So I think what I'm going to do is wrap up this video here and just off um, off screen or off camera, <laughs> I'm going to thought I had a thing to collect. Okay, off camera, I'm going to pick weeds, catch a few more bugs for earning Nook Miles. So yeah, I need five more fish and about nine more bugs. So I'm going to get that done and then wrap it up for the day. So thank you so much again for tuning in. If you enjoy my video, please hit that like and subscribe button. It would mean a lot to me. Take care.